It's the Universal Studios day today. <laughs> She's only about two and a half months old. Today we're spending the day at Universal's two main parks, Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. We're going to finally ride the new roller coaster, the Velocicoaster. We're going to get to finally ride our favourite roller coaster, Hagrid's, again. And of course, drink plenty of butter beer and explore all of the attractions. So come with us. So we're going to start our day off at Universal at Islands of Adventure. It's time to ride the Velocicoaster. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. All right. It almost feels like we didn't go on it because I didn't actually freak out beforehand, which is very unusual for me, but it was amazing. Best part is it's been a 15 minute wait all day so far, so we'll probably get on it again later. After finishing up with Velocicoaster, I'd really like to go and explore Hogwarts and Hogsmeade, but guys, my feet are so sore after days and days of walking around theme parks. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try and apparate to Hogwarts. I did it! And just next door to Jurassic World, Hogsmeade, just like in the movies. Welcome to Orlando's Hogsmeade. Visiting the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is probably worth the ticket price alone to come to Universal. There's so much to do, there's so much to see, heaps of rides to ride, but also heaps of different foods to try. I've always wanted to try a chocolate frog. And you know what I'm going to say next, heaps of different drinks, aka a butterbeer. And no trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is complete without a butterbeer. For lunch, we've come into Hogsmeade to the three broomsticks to enjoy some fish and chips, butterbeer, obviously, and just all around the atmosphere here in Hogsmeade. Do we do it? All for today here at Islands of Adventure. Time to head over to Universal Studios and see what they've got in store for us. So the main things that we want to do at Universal Studios is find the courage to ride Rip Ride Rocket for the first time. We're going to visit Diagon Alley and ride the Gringotts ride. And we're going to check in on the mummy because it's been recently under refurbishment. So we're going to see what that is like and how it compares to the last time we rode it when we were here last. We're going to enter through these bricks and just like magic, we come into Diagon Alley. First up, we've headed into Diagon Alley to get some ice cream. But not just any ice cream, but a beer ice cream. It's delicious. As always, Gringotts did not disappoint. It's now time to enter somewhere a bit more sinister from the Harry Potter universe. to get and where to get it from. Uh. Hello? Seymour there? Last 
name, but... Hello? I'm sitting here on the lawn. Rosh is about to conquer one of the scariest rides at the Universal Studios Park. Rip Ride Rocket. So we'll see if she likes it and I'll sit here and watch. <laughs> I just got off Rip Ride Rocket. I don't know if you can tell how much fun I had by the way that my hair looks like right now. It's really scary, but so much fun. Highly recommend it. I'm shattered that we didn't go on it last time, actually. Our last ride of the day is the Mummy. Like I said before, we haven't been on it since last trip and it's been refurbished, so it's time to check it out. We just got off the Mummy as good as ever. We're actually very fortunate to ride it today because it's still in technical rehearsals after its refurbishment. So it's only opening intermittently at the moment. So feeling very happy we got to go on it this trip. It's definitely one of our favorite rides. And that is our day here at Universal in Florida. We hope you enjoyed it. We certainly did. Our feet are on fire. So we're gonna get home into the makeshift ice bath that Stace has been putting on every night. But thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a like and consider subscribing. See you next time. Bye.